What's up everybody, Night Cove the Fox here, and welcome back to Fan Mail Openings. We are just going to start and not grab two at a time, one at a time. And our first one is from Canada. I'm just kidding, it's Canada. I know it's Canada. Please don't kill me. I'm being funny, ha ha ha. It's typed, see y'all are catching on to the fact that I can't read. So you think if you type it out, it should be better, right? But no, no. <laughs> I still fuck up. This is from Joshua, by the way. Hello, Josh. Oh, I'm your number one favorite musical artist. Well, that's an honor. I am very grateful for your support. Thank you. Nice. I, I am glad that you enjoyed the Glitch Trap series. All right, we have some questions as well. Number one is, I noticed that some of your old songs are gone from your channel and musical accounts, but the instrumentals are in the background of your more recent videos. Do you know what happened to them? And if so, do you think you can bring them back? Okay, so I kept the instrumentals around because I didn't want them to disappear from the face of the planet and they still hold a special place in my heart. However, because I have come so much farther along my musical production career, um, I wanted to kind of clean up the neatness of my channel and my musical um, storefronts, if that makes sense. So I started removing some of the older stuff that I'm, you know, a little less proud of. They, like I said, they still hold a special place in my heart because if I hadn't put those out into the world first, I wouldn't have been able to improve and get to where I am now. But I ultimately chose to remove the really old stuff that I don't really like anymore. Um, just because I wanted my channel and my uh, storefronts to have a more clean feeling to them and be a little more updated with the more recent and higher quality stuff that I am capable of producing. That's not to say that I'll never ever try to at least remaster them and bring them back. That's something that's on my list, a very long list of things that I want to do in the future sometime. Um, but I definitely want to try, if I have the time ever, to slow down, go back to some of those old songs that some of you guys watching may never have even heard before because they are old, um, and remaster them so that they sound better and um, re-release them so that, you know, the, the OGs who have been here for a long time and who miss those can get to hear them again, but hear them in a better, higher quality now that I kind of know a little more about what I'm doing. Number two, I've heard that some songs that were going to be in Evil Lives On didn't make it to the final cut. Will you be doing something with them so that we can still hear them, but in a way that they won't be a part of Evil Lives On? That is still up in the air. Um, <laughs> I, I will say that from the cut songs that have been removed from the album alone, I could easily make a second album because of how many there are. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, um, probably. Um, but maybe I can release some of the cut ones that I did like, but that just didn't really fit in the album because I had made a different version that I liked better for that certain character or section of the game that I wanted to be on the album instead. Um, but yeah, that's kind of still up in the air. Um, maybe if you guys would be interested in hearing some of the cut content, I can do some sort of little thing there after the album comes out. Number three, I want to know, are you doing well? Staying the bright star that you are while posting videos and songs and merch can be stressful. So always remember that you have the freedom to take breaks. Thank you for being amazing. Yours truly, a big fan from Josh. Well, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad that you care about my well-being. I am doing well, yes. Um, I have learned over the years to try or at least get better at maintaining a life-work balance. And since I get to do what I love for a living as my job, it's a little less stressful. I mean, yeah, it, it does get stressful because there is, you know, the constant... You know, you have to make the content, edit the content, and then the, the music aspect is, you know, I'm always trying to push myself, like, is does this sound good enough? Is this, you know, pushing my skill set? Like, is it, you know, is it good enough, basically? But I do have a lot of fun doing my job, and I am doing well myself as well, so thank you for asking. All right, next up, we have something coming from either the UK or a country that is in the vicinity because it has the royal stamp on it. 
maybe it says on the back. UK, it says UK on the back. Confirmed. So this is from Orla, I think. O-L, oh, no, O-R-L-A-G-H. So at first I thought it was like an, a unique spelling of like Olaf, <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think it's Orla or Orlof. I'm not sure. I hope one of those pronunciations is at least close. But hello. Wow, you've been watching the channel since you were seven. My goodness. So you, I'm glad you enjoy the uh, glitch trap stuff and I'm glad you enjoyed Vanessa the Madness as well. Uh, can you make more merch? We're working on it. Um, the end of the year, December 31st, is when the old store will close, which is the current one I have right now, and the brand new shiny one will open on January 1st. Looks like we have a little drawing here as well of a glitch trap. Very nice. His eyebrows are nice and thick and on fleek as usual living his best life. Very nice. Well, thank you for the glitch trap drawing and the letter. Next up, we have something from Florida. Hello, Night Cove. Your songs are just amazing. I love singing along with them. Glitch trap is awesome as well. He brings me smiles and laughs. Him reacting to cursed animatron an oh, animations. I thought that said animatronics. <laughs> cursed animations audios. Just can't find a word for that. I went ahead and made a drawing of Glitch Trap and a character of mine. I really hope you enjoy this because I murdered 10 pencils and erasers and 15 papers to get it right. Wow, that's, that's a lot of casualties <laughs> for a drawing from Anastasia. Well, I look forward to seeing this uh, picture, which uh, took some massive casualties of pencils and erasers. Ooh, you're gonna love it here, it says. Freddy Fazbear, oh, Freddy's Pizza, N6, number six. He's like a little TV head. Oh, that's pretty cool. The thing above him kind of looks like one of those goopy rabbit monsters in uh, Princess Quest, or the big goopy monster with the purple glowing eyes. That's pretty cool. I can see now why it must have taken several tries because you got some really fancy coloring and shading. It looks really good, I love it. Thank you for sending it to me after all of that hard work. All right, next up we have something from New York. And it has a, a mechanical pencil, a pink mechanical pencil. And a motorcycle, so fun. How do you know I always wanted a motorcycle? I don't even got the license for one of those bad boys. Did you know you need a completely separate license to drive a motorcycle than a car? The more you know. Anyways, let's see what else is in here to accompany the mechanical pencil of wonders. I'm not sure which one of these goes first, so I'm just gonna open one and see what happens. Oh, I must have picked the right one because it says hello. Hello, Night Cove. All right, that was a failed attempt at cursive, but anyway, hi, I'm Ray. You may remember me as Ty, but I now go by Ray. I hope you enjoy the art. Oh, well, it's nice to hear from you again. I love these little doodles over here. I'll hold them up so you guys can see them. There's some little quotations or speech bubbles going on as well. Very cute. And then we also have some other papers, two other papers to be exact. Oh, it's some song quotes and it looks like a little Bonnie character. Somber, it's an OC. They're cute. I like the buttons on the vest or perhaps the shorts. I can't tell. I think it's like a vest. That's super cute though. I like the fluffy hair too. And then last but not least, we have this guy. Is a vanny, I think, yes. Cool, because it's got some, or at least a quote down here from For You. Very nice. 
Well, thank you for the drawings and the letter, Ray. It's good to hear from you again. Next up, we have something coming from Michigan. Oh, dear Night Cove, it's Peachy Fairy Fox, also known as the writer for the Canon William Afton Tumblr blog and FNAF author from Wattpad and AO3. I have been watching your channel for many years. I'm a big fan and your content has only improved and gotten even better as time passed. You are my favorite FNAF songwriter as well as the prettiest YouTuber that I watch. Oh, oh, oh. You mean that? Oh. My ego is just so inflated. You're very inspirational, bravely making public content and taking chances with trying new things. You've accomplished so much already. Keep it up, no matter what anyone says. With certainty, you will be able to overcome any obstacles and do anything you can imagine. I'm feeling so inspired. Just keep being you. Do what makes you happy. Enjoy what makes you smile and create the content that lives inside you always. Your true fans will support you no matter what. Here's a drawing so that our FNAF foxes can play. Sincerely, Peachy. Aww. Is that like your OC? I'm assuming that's a peachy fairy fox. It's so cute. It's adorable. I love the little heart sticker too. Well, thank you for sending me the letter. I love your OC. Her design is very pretty. I love the colors. All right, next we have something from Amelia in Iowa. Hello, I can't remember if this is my second or fourth time sending fan mail in, but I have to say my favorite, my new favorite song is Parasite. The beat and lyrics sound nice. I did also ask questions last time in here, so here are some for you. I'm turning, oh, you're nine, turning 10 next month on the 5th, and you sent this in October, so that means November 5th was your birthday? Well, happy birthday. I hope it was a good one. Uh, number one, if you were to do another production similar to Vanessa into Madness, what would it be about? I'm not sure. I am, I've been so busy focusing on other big projects like the album and getting the merch stuff ready that I haven't really had the chance to start planning another big production, but I'd really, really love to because already looking back at um, Vanessa into Madness, there's so many aspects from just the production value alone that I want to do again, but better. And also I want to, there, there's just so many things that I want to do, but I haven't officially started planning anything yet. So I can't really answer that question yet. Um, but someday I do plan on taking on another big project of some kind. Number two, what is your favorite type of music? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't, I listen to so much music in general that I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, typically gravitate towards like a genre of like, oh yeah, like hip hop or country is my favorite, which actually country is one of my least favorites. No disrespect to people who love country. Do your thing. But for me, it's not really my thing. But a favorite genre, uh, I don't know. I like electronic music in general. Sometimes I like alternative rock or just like more easy listening stuff. Um, not necessarily like lo-fi. I have to be in the right mood for lo-fi. Like if I'm studying, I guess. <laughs> Cue the, the studying girl. The Does she have a name? I don't think she Hello. does. She's just the girl that studies to all the lo-fi like live stream playlists. But yeah, I just like electronic music. I don't listen to nerdcore music as much as I used to, ironically, because I'm a nerd nerdcore musical artist, um, but I still enjoy it here and there too. Uh, number three, how did you find FNAF uh, Markiplier? That's the easy answer. Uh, number four, what was your first cosplay? Well, I had been dressing in costumes outside of Halloween at any given chance, anytime we'd have a party and have friends over and we'd have a costume party. Or... So I've been like cosplaying before I knew it was a thing ever since I was very little. But my first official cosplay was probably Foxy the Pirate and I took him to my very first um, Comic-Con, it was still called back then, in Phoenix, um, but, uh, he was my first, like, official cosplay that I took to a convention way back in, like, 2015, I think? Yeah, 2014 or 2015. Um, but yeah, it was very fun. Uh, I still have pictures somewhere. If you can dig them up, feel free to pop them up. I feel like I've done this before in a previous fan mail where I'm like, hey, pop up the old pictures. But yeah, I was very little, uh, 
very new to the cosplay world. It was shortly after I had discovered that that was even a thing that people did, so it kind of affirmed my love for the hobby. We have a drawing here. My OC Saturn. I can't draw hands. Here, oh, removable halo ring. Ooh, that's a pretty neat character. Got like a half and half situation going on. Very neat. And then we also have this one. A Vanny. Very nice. Cute, cute. I love it. Thank you so much for sending me the artwork and the letter. This next one is coming from Wind Up Trinket in Michigan also. I feel like I've been getting quite a few from Michigan lately for some reason. Cool, you've been watching since mid-2018. Oh, you found Send Me Down to Hell while searching for an, any new Scrap Track songs. I met my friends talking about your content on a Discord server and all these years later, they're now my roommates and we all collectively bestow upon you the highest honor any content creator could ever receive. A permanent seat at our dinner table <laughs> where we watch your videos every night as a, as a found family ritual of putting YouTube on while we eat so we don't have to listen to ourselves chew. Oddly specific, but that is a great honor to have. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> in all seriousness though, you are my absolute favorite YouTuber and the joy that you create and spread is immeasurable. Oh, there's a sentence right on the floor. I did want to ask you one question though. You've briefly touched on how you make your music in various posts and other fan mail videos, but if you find the time, would you consider maybe making a video where you go more in depth and show us your process of how you go about making a song. I know a lot of people are really curious as to how you make your music so incredible, and I myself have a lot of ideas and inspiration from you, but I don't know how to use samples or where to start. Thank you so much from Trinket. Oh, I like the itty bitty little glitch trap right next to the sun signature. That's cute. Um, yeah, maybe someday I can do, like if I live streamed more often, I feel like that'd be a nice live stream type of situation. Cause some nerdcore artists have like Twitch accounts where they'll, during the production of a song, they'll just stream the making process on Twitch or sometimes YouTube, but more often I see people do it on Twitch because that's like the go-to streaming service. Um, I don't have a Twitch, but I might be willing to, in the future, make a video of some kind about, um, I don't know if it would be like a tutorial per se, because I still am very self-taught and don't have any sort of organizational skills, so it would not be structured. But you guys could sit there and watch and probably scrutinize uh, the way that I make music. Um, I probably wouldn't do it for any songs that I plan on releasing officially, just because, you know, spoilers. Um, but I could do it for like for fun projects where I just sit down and I'm like, hey, I feel like making music today. Come along with me. You get to watch as I sit here and struggle over writing the same piano MIDI for 30 minutes and it'll be fun. But if that's something you all would be interested in, comment so that I can, uh, I can see and I will consider doing that. Last but not least for this episode, we have a grouping of three coming from the same person. So similarly to how I did the ones from the last episode or the one before that, I am going to open these all together and then we'll close out the episode. So these are all coming from Kaylee in Iowa, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Dear Night Cove, my name is Kaylee. I think you're an awesome YouTuber. Also, sorry about the spelling, I can't spell. The drawing on the back is for you. The reason it's a dragon is because I love dragons. This is my first time writing fan mail. I'm honored, I'd like to thank my mom. I'd like to thank my sister. I'd like to thank my family, I'd like to thank you guys. I'm honored. Uh, I hope you like it, I love it so far. I'm sure I will love the rest too. From Kaylee. Oh, there's something on the back. What is that? Oh, it, it is the dragon on the back. P.S. There are, there might be more drawings somewhere. I see that. We have our first dragon here. Very cool. See, 
I can't draw dragons. If I tried, it would probably look like a really strange snake turtle, if I had to try and guess of what it would turn out like. It wouldn't look good. It wouldn't look like a dragon. It would probably look really sad. Ooh, it looks like we have the FNAF 1 office with the doors on either side. Whoa. There we go. Very cool. And then we also have... Oh, is this? Oh no, it's just a different type of paper. That's why it's thicker. I thought there were two. And then this one, which says midnight. Oh, there's a little baby at the bottom. There's a little baby one. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. He's kind of tiny, but he cute. A little baby dragon. That's so cute. Well, I love your dragons. Thank you for sending them to me. Maybe there will be more in the other two envelopes. It says Lolly's Game. Lally? Lally's Game? I think that's a G. Yeah, it is. Okay. Lally's Game. I don't know what that's from or if that's like an original thing, but I love the colors. Very nice. I like that it has no context, so if I had opened this one first, I would have been like, uh-huh, cool. I love Lally's Game. That's my, that's my favorite game. And then last but not, not, not least in the trilogy, before I lose my ability to speak anymore, we've got this guy. Oh, she's thick. Oh yeah. There we go, got her. Ooh, this is some thick paper, my goodness. Oh wow. Might have to like unfold her a little. She's got some, she's got some bend to her. There we go. Just gotta straighten her out a little. There, all better. Ooh. Oh, it's because it's been painted on that. That makes sense as to why it is stiffer. It's me with an angry Freddy. Very nice. Oh, I'm sorry. There she is. He is. Sorry, Freddy. I misgendered you. I apologize. I like the way he's holding his microphone like it's a, like it's a wand. He's like, Leviosa! Or whatever the saying is in Harry Potter. I've never watched Harry Potter in my life. Well, yes, I have, but not since I've been old enough to actually understand what's going on. But I do only recall the, uh, it's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa. Only because it became like a meme or something. I can't get him back in. Go, Freddy, go. There we go. Well, thank you so much, Kaylee, for the three lovely envelopes. And I love the Freddy and the other dragons. Not that Freddy's a dragon. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. We don't know. That'll be what the, the new DLC reveals, is that Freddy's been a dragon all along. I'm just kidding. I'm tired and... Um, my brain cells have, like I said, been dying over the past several years. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Fan Mail Openings. I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you so much for the love and support, and thank you to those of you who take the time to send me fan mail. It means a lot. Jimmy still sends his love. And as always, remember, stay bright, because you're a star, and I will see you all next time. I'm running out of things. I don't have anything. Just take my wallet. <laughs> just, just take it all. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> just, just, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't have anything that bends. I can make the envelope stab. Ready? Uh-huh. Bam! Wow! I still feel like the equivalent to you're like doing this. No, 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 Cause like one arm goes like this and then the other arm is gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> uh, hold on, uh -huh. I gotta, gotta put the contents back away. Yeah. Cause like this is the arm that sticks out, uh -huh. out. And then this is the arm that does this. Uh-huh. So you put it together. Bam! Watch out! Bang! If you can't see it, then you're stupid. Okay.
We'll let the comments decide. Yeah, yeah, that was a dab, okay? Stupid.